Uh, the topic of the month of the FSR website is uh, the role of government in power markets. Uh, it's a complex question because it's essentially a trade-off between imperfect markets. Uh, we all know that markets are not perfect instruments to allocate resources, uh, and imperfect regulation, because we also know that governments are not perfect at making rules um, that achieve good outcomes. And as society, we always trade off those two imperfections, market on the one hand and government on the other. It's particularly true in the power industry where governments are very active, very influential, uh, and very involved in the rule makings. So we cover four topics uh, with this blog. The first one is around generation adequacy. And here the government is um, intervening in markets by setting a standard for generation capacity. Uh, there are two issues. One, why is the government setting such a standard? Is that part of uh, what we expect out of our elected leaders? And B, what are the impacts of setting this standard? Is that solving more problems or is that creating more problems? The second topic is about the generation mix. Uh, in many countries, uh, through subsidies to specific technologies, the government is in effect choosing the technology mix. Uh, for example, in most of continental Europe, uh, the government is uh, subsidizing renewables technology, uh, which then leads to the renewables taking a bigger and bigger share in our generation mix and pushing out other technologies. And again, uh, the two questions are, why do the government do that? Is that a legitimate activity from our elected officials? And what are the impacts? Are the costs associated with that worth paying? Is that the right policy? Uh, what are the side effects of those policies? Uh, the third topping is about transmission pricing. And here the argument is slightly different. Uh, transmission pricing is one where, uh, as economists, we know that the right economic solution is something called nodal pricing, uh, uh, which, is, uh, which has been proven to work best both theoretically and empirically in many countries. Uh, in Europe, we are lagging behind. And it is a case where the governments, the European governments, could actually be more proactive uh, and really helping the market participant and convincing them uh, to move to nodal pricing. So this is one argument, uh, one case, one example where we don't see enough government intervention. Uh, the last part of this topic of the month is about ownership. Um, there are two views on that. One is that the owner of the asset should be whomever is able to operate the asset best, be that a domestic owner or a foreign owner, uh, it doesn't make sense, that it doesn't make any difference. That, of course, is the liberal view. Uh, a more nuanced view is about uh, power assets being strategic assets. And then the question becomes, how can our government ensure and guarantee uh, that those assets will be operated for the public good and will be operated safely and securely? So to be particularly precise, how does the government guarantee that nobody will plant a virus on the transmission grid we could really cripple our economies. And that may involve some restrictions or limits of foreign ownerships on some of the assets. So those are the topics we cover in the past this month. Uh, the general theme is what do we expect of our government and what are the best policies that government should make in this particularly important industry, which is the power industry.